Welcome Cancer to your weekly reading. This is for the 30th of October to the 6th of November. I'm going to start off by pulling your oracle cards. This is going to give us the main themes that are coming through for you for this week. I will then go ahead and clarify these cards further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Cancer, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We are going to start off here with Remembrance, number 38. And Cancer, when we get the energy of Remembrance, it's the energy of you know what to do. You've been here before. This is not the first time you've been in this position, been in this circumstance. What have you learned previously that you can bring in now that will help the existing situation? Let's get your tarot cards and see what this is all about. So we want to see now what remembrance is for cancer, please. And you have the Five of Cups. And the chariot. Okay, so what we are seeing here is that some of my cancers might be in the Five of Cups energy regarding some circumstance, some situation, or some relationship in their life. Now, Five of Cups is the energy of crying over spilt milk. It's about going over a past experience, wishing for a different outcome. But as you know, once the milk is spilt, my dearest Cancerians, there's nothing we can do about it. But it's the energy of, why did I do that? Why didn't I speak up? Why did they behave like that to me? Why didn't I make a move? Why didn't I take that opportunity? And going over it and over it. And when we do that, my dear Cancers, all we do is sink into a lower vibration. You are being asked now, when were you in a similar circumstance, Cancer, where you kept going over and over a past energy and all you did was put yourself in a worse situation than it actually was. You are being asked this week to really acknowledge what's going on in your life. These two cups that are standing will represent different things to different people. It could be all the positive relationships you have in your life, your great family, your great home, your great job. Focus on what you've got, my dearest Cancers, because when you turn around and leave this energy behind and you look at all the good that's going on, it tells us the chariot energy comes in. And what you do for yourself is quite remarkable. You move energy. You are able to shift out of this energy at this speed. Now the chariot is a very fast moving card. But not only that, my dear Cancers, the chariot speaks to us of success, of accomplishment. So it tells us that when you start focusing on what's happening and what's good in your life, you're going to actually have the possibility of getting to where you want to go faster than you think. As you can see, our chariot rider has a shocked look on his face. He didn't anticipate this speed. There has been a time in the past where you have done something similar and you've held yourself in Five of Cups energy too long. There are certain things we have to accept that we cannot change. It's gone, it's over, whether we take responsibility for it or whether it was something that happened that was out of our hands. My dearest Cancers, there are just times where we have to accept it's finished. We cannot change it. But what can we do with what we've got now in order to bring about some kind of significant change that we want to see? And this, my dearest Cancer, is what you are being asked to look at and focus on this week. Because if you are able to do that, my gosh, Cancer, you are able to bring about incredible changes at a very fast pace. 
Let's see now what Throat Chakra energy is all about. Number five, and this is the energy of self-expression. When we get Throat Chakra, it's the energy, my dearest Cancerians, of where do you need to speak up? Where do you need to express yourself? So let's get your tarot to see what this is all about. So we want to see now what the Throat Chakra energy is for Cancer, please. And we've got Knight of Pentacles and Eight of Wands, another fast-moving card. Cancer, this energy could very well be connected to our Remembrance energy. Can you see our Knight of Pentacles is holding up the pentacle facing the past? But there is no movement in this card. Can you see the horse is dead still? The land is barren. Nothing is growing. Nothing has been planted just yet. I feel you need to speak about what has happened in the past. This Five of Cups energy. Perhaps you need to speak to somebody just to get it off your chest. You know, this could just be speaking to a close family member, a close friend, Cancer, and just letting all those feelings out. When this happened, I felt like this, and I should have done that. And you just lay all your feelings on the table. Let it all out. This could very well be speaking to the person concerned. And Cancer with Throat Chakra, it's about being heard. And if that means leaving a voice message, writing an email, whatever is easy for you. But let all those feelings and those emotions out. Because what we have coming in, again, is another incredibly fast-moving card. So you have two fast-moving cards coming in. This week, a big theme for you is release. Letting go of something in the past that's holding you back. And like I said, Cancer, it could be so different for everybody. But you've been here before. You know what it is to hold yourself in this energy of regret, remorse and disappointment. You know what it is to lower your vibration by going over it and over it. Now communicate to the person you need to communicate with. And like I said, it'll be different for everybody. But you have to let this energy out. Speak from the heart. Be your true, beautiful, sensitive, authentic Cancerian self because once you let it out, my dearest Cancerians, something here is about to happen. It's like you open up the floodgates of possibility. For me, what I'm seeing here is you holding yourself back in this energy. You're not letting all the good, the opportunities, possibilities that are like knocking at the door, screaming, let me in, let me in. You holding them back with this energy. Now remember what it is to be there. Remember what it is to push back all the beautiful energy that wants to come in. This week, by expressing yourself from the heart, you are going to open up the gates that are going to let all this good energy come in. And my dearest Cancerians, it floods in. This is not a trickling energy. This is a flood of fast-moving good energy. Very strong message coming through here for you. Now let us see what heart chakra number four is all about for you. And we're just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see what the heart chakra energy is for cancer, please. And we have Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. So Cancer, you can see that your message this week is very, very connected. The Heart Chakra speaks to us of loving deeply and loving unconditionally. I think what happened here really affected your Heart Chakra as well. It was something that hurt you to the core. This is what Ten of Swords is coming out 
and relaying to me. Spirit wants me to know, my dearest Cancerians, how hurt you have been from this experience. As you can see from this card, it's the energy of being man and woman down, hurt to the core. Now, Ten of Swords is really not an easy energy, Cancer. Spirit is wanting me to know that some of my Cancerians have been blindsided by being betrayed, lied to, stolen from, gaslit. It will be so different for everybody. However, things are changing, things are lifting, because you, my dear Cancerians, have the wisdom on how to manage this scenario. You've been here before in some way, shape or form and you are going to take action this week in releasing yourself out of this. The light is coming up, pushing back the darkness. The darkness being that really painful energy. This is the week you have an incredible possibility of facing the two cups that are still standing of speaking your truth, speaking from the heart. And remember, my dearest Cancerians, it'll be very different who you speak to. You will know who it is, whether it is the person concerned, whether it is someone close to you, just explaining to them what you have been through and how it has affected you. Because my gosh, when you do, Page of Cups tells me that you will be hearing very good news. It's like your expression, your voice, the way you communicate has the incredible energetic power of releasing you out of this energy and allowing all the good to come in. Don't hold back this week. Communicate from the deepest point. Even my dearest Cancerians, if there is nobody around to communicate to, write that letter to yourself, to your higher self, from the heart. Let it all out. Don't hold back. There is an immense release that is taking place this week and you are driving it. However you choose to express yourself, let all those emotions out. How you felt, what happened, how it's held you back and how now you are choosing to move forward in a way that is right and possible for you. My dearest Cancerians, there is something quite wonderful here that is going to open up for you. And it's just about you acknowledging you've been here before and you're not going to hold yourself back any longer. Very big week, my dear Cancers. Right. Sorry, Cancer, the camera just jumped again, but let's continue. Let's move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you for this week. Right, let us see what Cancer's angels would like to share. Listen to your intuition. Cancer, your angels want you to know that your intuition is on point. And you are a highly intuitive sign. So you are able to trust your gut feelings, your premonitions and your intuition. As you move through the week, my dearest Cancerians, do what feels right. Speak from the heart. Speak to whom you know is the right person to communicate with. Trust your premonitions. Trust your gut feelings. Trust your hunches. Let this be your guiding compass this week. It will not let you down. It's the week where you speak up. You let those deepest feelings in your heart be known. And like I said, whether it's to somebody you trust, whether it's the person concerned, or whether it's to your higher self, just by letting it out, my dearest Cancerians, it's opening up an incredible gateway something that is going to give you exactly what you need and are looking for right now. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.